But here's the problem. Here's the problem with the twins. We got to talk about the twins a little bit. How to counter the twins in one easy hero. Only, it's only a game. Why you have to be mad? So the twins, Lars and Krista, amazing heroes, incredible lineup for the longest time. Just oppressive how good and strong they were. Top magic damage dealing heroes. Amazing synergy between the two. I often joke that Krista is the absolute worst hero in the game because you absolutely have to have Lars in order for Krista to work. So here's a couple of issues with the twins right now. And I'll show you some fights in just a second. They are strong on offense. They're great at attacking, but they're really, really bad on defense. Really bad on defense. So if I were talking to a new player and they asked me, uh, should I level up the twins? I would probably tell them no right now. As much as I hate to say it, again, not a bad team, but you'll end up having to need another team for defense. You'll need another team for defense because the twins are so bad on defense. Why are the twins so bad on defense? Well, we have this thing called the uh, called the LOL Osh team. Let me show you a screenshot and then I'll show you the fight. This is just flat out the five heroes that you level up for Asgard for fighting Osh. This is the meta team for fighting Osh on Hero Wars Facebook and web. Isaac with Oliver, Zhu with Fenris, Sebastian with Albus, Nebula with Kane, Martha with Axel and Albus. Every Facebook and web player should be leveling these five heroes right now. Should absolutely be investing in these five heroes. Why? They're all great heroes. Two of the heroes are some of the most important heroes you can level up in Isaac and Sebastian. Zhu and Nebula and Martha completing the five makes the best PvE team versus the campaign, versus the tower, versus uh, the Osh minions, versus Osh himself. In many adventure fights, these five heroes are must-have heroes right now. Must-have heroes. And this team right here defeats most versions of the twins. Most versions of the twins. Now, this is just one example. And I want to show you first, I want to show you this. This is an even bigger problem. This is an even more popular lineup of the twins right now. Uh, a lot of people call this the twins trinity or the twin, uh, trinity twins team, okay? You have the twins, Lars and Krista. You have Aurora, Sebastian, and Isaac. This team can be defeated with two heroes. Let's show the fight real quick. Dorian and Isaac, everybody needs to be leveling up Isaac. The Dorian level actually doesn't matter that much as long as his violet ability is leveled up. We'll just go ahead and speed this up because it does not matter. These two heroes... Plus Fenris, which you should be leveling up for your Zhu for Osh anyway. These two heroes beats nearly every version of the Twins Trinity on defense. Just these two heroes, right? Just these two heroes. And even going one step further, if you get lucky, just Isaac beats these five heroes. Okay? You got to get really lucky just using one hero, but making the argument that you can win versus one hero is a bad defense, right? How can one team be good on defense ever if one hero can defeat that lineup? So here is the, uh, here's the, uh, here's the Osh team that I just showed you. Isaac, Zhu, Nebula, Sebastian, Martha against this same lineup, okay? Again, this is a lineup on the left that every player should be building. Every player that plays on Facebook and web has to be building this team. So then you can say, well, uh, okay, against the Osh, team with Zhu, Lars in fifth position is obviously not the best hero to place there. Well, we have that fight as well. Here's Jason versus Andrew, 730k versus 930k. Now, obviously, Andrew doesn't have a completely maxed twins team, not completely maxed, but still a very strong twins team. And this is arguably a more defensive lineup. This one has Martha, even with Martha, which is one of the Zhu counters. Even with Martha, this team does not stand a chance against, again, the five heroes that every single player needs to be leveling right now. Every single player. So the argument, the big argument, defense doesn't matter. First of all, let's be very clear. Every single team on defense can be defeated. Every single team of five heroes can be defeated with the right key. It's a puzzle you have to solve, right? It's just a puzzle that you have to solve. Hero knowledge, hero synergy, having the correct leveled heroes, that will help you defeat every single enemy lineup. But the problem with the twins is that 
every player, every player has the answer to their team. Every player has the answer to the twins lineup. Every single player. The tank wouldn't have mattered there. Having a different tank here would not have mattered. Maybe Chaba to swallow Isaac, I don't know. Astaroth wouldn't have mattered. Corvus maybe would have mattered, but probably not. Corvus would have been knocked over very fast with Zhu. Ziri maybe could have helped. I, I don't know. The team on the left doesn't rely on debuffs. There's no stuns or silences aside from Isaacs. If we'd have swapped out potentially Celeste for Sebastian here, maybe, then they might have had a chance. Maybe. Yeah, Jiv says yes. Uh, Seb, uh, Seb instead of Celeste. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he had a chance. You're still dealing with a lot of magic damage output from Isaac. Well, the problem is, is aside from removing, aside from removing debuffs, which Isaac does, and Isaac will spam against this team, Sebastian doesn't really bring much to the table. So how do you counter the twins on Hero Wars Facebook and web? You simply level up the five heroes that your guild wants you to level up. Level up the five heroes that your guild wants you to level up in order to be effective. And I'm not talking about just the boss. I'm talking about every single fight. Every fight, this team is important. Why well, swap the tank here because it's a, th it's a three lineup. Don't level the twins right now. Sometime in the future, sometime in the future, a new pet will be released or a new hero will be released that will counter Isaac. But until that day, until that day, the twins are bad on defense. They're just bad on defense because everybody has the key to your lock. I feel bad saying this because I do believe that every single uh, every single hero has a counter. Every single defensive lineup has a counter and every team is good on some levels. The twins are great on offense, for example. Will these new skins help? I cannot imagine that any new skin will help. Keeping Krista alive a little bit longer, maybe keeping Lars a little bit alive a little bit longer, maybe. Maybe allowing Krista to do more damage with her attacks, giving her magic penetration, maybe. The third hero, whoever that is, that gets the solar skin, that plus the twins, maybe will help counter the, the uh, you know, Isaac and, and the LOL Osh team. But it is just not looking good right now. And again, Hero Wars, Hero Wars goes through seasons and cycles. So in six months or a year, the twins will be amazing again, but not right now. This is how you counter the twins on Hero Wars Facebook and web. Uh, anyone uses twins on defense? I just assume they don't care. <laughs> twins are great on mobile. Yes, niche. Twins are great on mobile. In fact, I have a cool screenshot for you guys. A really cool screenshot. I want to show you this. You guys know who Tim is, right? Tim is the uh, he's the admin owner of the uh, the Hero Wars, the unofficial Hero Wars mobile, the GOAT Facebook page. He actually made this post back on April 18th. I'm predicting now, I think the twins and Jorgen will get solar skins. He made this post back on April 18th, and he's at least two thirds right. Krista rework, maybe a Krista rework. I think any rework that they do, any rework that they do would probably uh, would probably uh, cause some synergy issues. 